had a job after college working at a software company. I worked alongside devs all day, and I really just wanted to be one. There were two women devs, I think, at the time, in a company that had at least over 100. I didn't really feel like I had a base of support there to actually transition, and so I didn't at the time, and I went off and did other things. It's a strange thing because there aren't examples in our society of women leaving their kids to go and do a job-related thing. When I first made the decision, I kind of didn't know how to tell people about it because I felt like people would think I was a bad mom for choosing to leave my kid or something. But it was nice because that was tempered by the fact that I very quickly felt the confirmation of this is the right path for me. Ada came out of just trying to create more diversity and trying to close a gap. It's from Ada Lovelace. She was said to be the first computer programmer ever. We're graduating 100 women, non-binary people, and trans people a year. Colleges aren't doing that. Diversity and inclusion is the competitive advantage. If you have a team that values everybody's opinion, that has a diverse set of opinions, we wind up with better product. The environment at Ada is a very supportive environment. We can be there for each other instead of elbowing and clawing, trying to get at the top of this perceived stack. We have three things we look for in application. It's grit, drive, and aptitude. We have 600 applicants, and we narrow it down to 48. When they come in, they're committing the next 11 months to learning how to be programmed. They have to really, really, really want this. I live during the week in Seattle, but my husband and my child are in Portland and so I see them on the weekends. So it was a big deal for me to decide to apply to Ada. I've done the round trip, I think, about 25 times in the last six months. It just averages out to three hours. Occasionally, I'll make it earlier knowing that I'm gonna hit more traffic, and sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but it's worth driving an hour or two longer if I get to see my kid before he goes to bed. It was always just, is it worth it? You know, is it worth it to miss? Uh, to miss a year of my kid's life, you know, when he's so little. <laughs> just getting to know all the students at Ada and the alumni, their desire to do this and make an impact in the industry is probably far stronger than many people that I've managed and the grit that they had to really make that career transition was a lot higher. It lit a fire in me that I had always kind of wanted to be lit, but I hadn't managed to do it myself, pursuing something that I've always been passionate about. Ada interns have a great reputation for being hungry, ready to work, going the extra mile. They want the job, they want to be there so bad. These students walk into places or they're the only black person in their company. They're the only trans person this person's ever met. They're the only woman on their team. They're the only woman on their floor. And people love that perspective when they're bringing it in. It's the right time to be starting to make changes and educating people a little bit more and just raising awareness in terms of issues in tech that relate to diversity. I can be a part of that. I can contribute to that. And I love that.